In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the origami box that will be the container for the paper sculpture that you're going to create and later draw. Um, start with an 11 by 11 square of paper. I'm using drawing paper, which is a little bit heavier than uh, computer paper, but computer paper would be fine. So the first thing I did was to find the center of the paper by making an X uh, or cross by um, using a ruler and going from diagonal to diagonal. Now I'm folding each corner as you see when the paper is in a diamond shape uh, and I'm folding it in a certain way. Uh, you do have the written directions as a PDF uh, within the course as well. Uh, the written directions also has diagrams, so whichever way is easiest for you to learn how to make this little box, um, you can use whatever um, vehicle you have available in the course. I'm also using a marker because I want you to make sure that in this video you see the lines that you need to have. Uh, you're going to need scissors and you're going to need glue. So just pay attention to how this is being folded make sure that every fold is pretty crisp and, um, and you should be able to make your box. The box doesn't have to be perfect as long as it works as a container to hold the little paper sculpture that you'll make. This video you'll also see some examples of how to make the little paper shapes that you later will draw. There's no right or wrong in this case at all. Uh, you'll also see many examples of student works um, and you'll see the kind of little paper things they've made. Now I'm drawing these lines. These are going to be lines that we're going to cut. You don't have to draw these lines when you're making your own box. I'm just doing it so that you really see um, what's happening. So cut along the line as straight as you can going all the way up to that middle square fold. Once these lines are cut, you'll see that I'll start assembling the box. And this is where you'll also be using some glue. A glue stick would also be fine to use. It doesn't have to be liquid glue. I'm putting glue just in the square, the center square, um, that's been created by all the folding. and you can see how easy this box comes together. Okay, the box is pretty finished. I'm just kind of uh, shaping it to make sure it's nice and square. And now I'm taking computer paper and I'm just going to cut strips uh, or a variety of different shapes. There's no right or wrong method. But I want to create shapes that will have some three-dimensional uh, form to them, which will allow me to draw that three-dimensional form using the black and white pencils and um, toned paper. So in this case, I'm creating now just a cone shape. I cut a circle out, and, uh, and you can see it's a very rough circle. I'm going to trim it up a little bit before I put it in the box. Um, but when you take a circle and you cut a line through it um, all the way to the center, then you can kind of fold it onto itself or roll it onto itself and create this cone shape that you see I have here. <coughs> I kind of like to cut a few things out before I start assembling. That way I have a variety of shapes that I can choose from. <clears throat> some of this, the um, shapes are going to be straight and some of them are going to be curved. And again, there's no right or wrong way. So with this long strip, I'm going to make an accordion fold and that will give me a lot of dimension for the drawing. And I'm sure you all know how to do that. 
Again, I'm using Elmer's glue or liquid glue, but you could use a glue stick. Whatever works for you, whatever you have at home um, is fine. You need this little model that you're making for the duration of your drawing, but obviously it's not something that's meant to last forever. And it's just our little model for this particular assignment. Another thing you can do is, as you make your shapes, you don't have to glue them in right away. You can test them out and um, decide like what you like best before you do the final gluing. Also, I think it's best to keep things um, maybe more simple than complicated. Um, and you'll see in my drawing that I end up doing, I do have a lot of negative space. And um, so I've got a lot of black in my drawing. In some of the examples, you'll see other versions where there's a lot more white um, because there's a lot more strips of paper. So again, there's no right or wrong way. You should kind of do what you feel like doing. This whole little um, assemblage will probably take you 15 minutes or a half an hour to complete, maybe even less if you are fast with the folding. Um, but it really shouldn't take a whole lot of your time. And at the end, when it's all assembled, um, you should hold it up at eye level because you want to be drawing it at eye level. And you're going to see in my example shortly, I did not draw the exterior of the box. All I did was draw the inside of the box and what was projecting out of it. So again, you'll see examples, student examples, where some students have actually drawn the box because they haven't really done an eye view. Um, and that's fine. There really isn't it, it, you really don't have to do it exactly um, the way I'm doing it or the way you see many of the examples done because the whole point of this project is about working with the medium tone paper and finding the lighter values and the darker values. So again, just watch me as I kind of construct this box and you can see that I'm, I'm not being too fussy but I'm changing my mind and I'm altering according to what I want to be looking at when I do this drawing. I'm not really satisfied with that last curl, so I'm going to change it around. I've already um, trimmed it so that it's thinner. And you're going to see that I'm going to pull that little piece off again and reposition it. So these are very simple materials. Hopefully you all have these at home and it isn't anything that you have to go and buy. So again, I'm holding it up to look at it eye level to see if it's really what I want to be doing. And I'm satisfied with that one now, so um, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then we will start the drawing. <laughs> 